Okay, so now I'm going to show you a video on this autopilot unit and what this does and uh, the different steps of wiring it up. Basically, this is a four outlet controller, just like it says. And basically what you do is this will run either 120 or 240 volts, depending upon how you wire it up. And, um, and it will work as, instead of having a 240 volt, which this is a 120, but if you had a 240 volt timer for each individual light, this is basically going to turn four lights on and four lights off on the same schedule that is important you can only have one schedule with these so in the room that I'm doing now with those two um, thousand watt lights that's going to be a flowering room so these are going to be running 12 on 12 off and what will happen is this controller basically is what will switch those lights on even though it's actually switching the uh, contactor inside here so this dial will set it just like you would normally to the proper time of day and then push down the little button so you have 12 on, 12 off, based on your time. I'm going to have mine on from 8 at night till 8 in the morning. And then off from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. And basically, the things you need to set this up is if you're going to do 240 volts, which I'm going to, you need a 30 amp 2 pole breaker. And this will go into your main panel. Some 10-2 wire. Box connector that you'll use right at the uh, electrical box to connect the wire to. That wire is going to run into the room. Go into this unit here. Right through this box connector. And the two hot legs, which this 10-2 wire, if you're not familiar with it, is two hot wires which in this case are going to be the the black and the white and one ground white typically is neutral but I'm going to be wiring it up so that the black and white will each be going on to one of these lugs the black and white here will be going on to each one of these two here the ground terminal is right here and basically that's there's no you don't need to do anything inside other than wiring up those three points and then seal the box up and the ballast will get plugged right directly into these outlets so depending upon the type of uh, cords you have uh, you could you can run this on 120 or 240 like I said I'm going to use 240 you can plug in up to four and they will come on and off at the same time. This cord is not the power cord. You do not plug this into the wall um, directly. Well, you do, but not to power the unit. This is the tripping cord, which this will actually activate the coil inside of this contactor to turn the power on to the lights. So this cord is going to plug directly into this timer. And when this timer says to come on, it'll energize this line, which will also um, close in the contacts on this contactor and turn the lights on. So it's a really very simple. Hopefully that doesn't uh, scare anybody off. It's pretty basic. If you don't feel comfortable doing wiring, then certainly have somebody, you know, wire it up for you. But it's really not a, uh, a big deal at all. Um, should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to locate this box now where it'll be convenient in the room to get multiple lines to it. And also to make sure that this has enough room to get to the uh, wall outlet. And uh, I'll turn back on and we'll do some connections and see how this works. Okay, I've got the, um, the timer set up. And just as a test to see the unit, the unit has no power now, but the, the contactor will still uh, close in as soon as the uh, power, the timer comes on. So right now I've got it, it's, it's only like 7.15, it's actually 10.30, so 
if I was to like time lapse and this was to come on at eight o'clock, like I had said, you're gonna hear a little click and that's the unit coming on. Okay, you hear that? So now the lights would have just come on. I'm setting the dial so that it's about 10.30, which is what it is now. So right now, the unit would come on. You can see the indicator light is on. So that's telling you that it would be working. Now, if the power was here, it would now energize those outlets and turn the lights on. So that's going to be the next step. We just tested this to make sure that it all works. I'm going to, I'm going to leave the timer plugged in because I want the timer to remain there. But I'm going to unplug this and you'll hear it, you will hear it click that the power's off. Okay, so that's just like if the lights had turned off, if the timer was right. So, I'll leave it like that, and I'll be back once I get this located. Okay, I just finished um, wiring up for that uh, light controller. Basically, what I have is this a brand new box. I just put it up to uh, bring power closer to my grow rooms. And um, pretty basic, but I've got a 30 amp breaker here. So when I showed you earlier, hopefully the glare is not too bad. This is the line that comes into the grow room. This is going to feed. Both of those are hot. That's a 240 volts, the ground connection. And this is now, these are both on, they're live. And it's sending power out to the controller. I'll show you what that looks like. Here are the 2000 watt lights that we just rigged up earlier in another video. We've got the ballast. Both of them are all secured and, uh, and ready. They're wired through 240 volt plugs, which are connected to these outlets, which are not live yet. This is the uh, wire that just came in off that breaker. Comes in here, goes to those two terminals, the ground. So now it's all that's left to do is connect the trip cord, which is that black cord, to the timer. And the timer, because it's 11, I think yeah, it's about 11.30 right now at night, this would normally have already come on. You can see the uh, red lights on on the timer. So when I plug this in, the contactor is going to uh, click like it did earlier. But this time, everything's set up so the light should come on. So, uh, here we go. Here's the first, first official test. So, you hear the click. Ballast. And the lights are starting to come on, heat up. We'll have plenty of light here in just a few moments. So there you go. Kicking in now. Oh yeah. Get my babies under here and get them going. So there you go. That's all there is to it. I'm uh, just going to put this cover on now. Cover that up. I don't know if now maybe with the light you'll be able to see a little better, but. Um, there's the feed coming in. All this other wiring's already done for you. And these are plugs, 240 volt plugs that I bought right at the um, hydro store. They have them. They're a standard plug. They go into your ballast. They replace the one that comes with the ballast, which is a regular 120 volt plug. And I will say that plugging them into these outlets was really a pain in the ass. They really went in very, very hard. So, just so you know, in case that happens to you, if you get the same thing, they did go, but I really had to jam them in there. So, that's it. All that's missing now is the ladies.